All right, so I haven't filmed this morning, obviously, because I don't like to use my phone for the first two hours of the day. But woke up, did my morning routine, whatever. I'm still not doing cold showers, though, just because I'm trying to get over my cold. And having a cold shower would only further that. But as you can tell, I'm kind of sounding normal again, so that's good. And uh, now, well, I went to university as well. Finished early because one of our lecturers was sick. So it's about, it's only half past 11 in the morning now. But I'm at Constantia Village. I'm going to get myself a coffee. And I need to get some more eggs so I can make something to eat when I get home and get into some work. And it's going to be a good day. I'm going to try and get, I'm going to try and get a, like, insane amount of calls booked just because we're dealing with so many warm leads now so i'm looking forward to that other than that i'll check in with you guys later okay i've just gotten back home since it's still early i usually don't start working but i'm going to do a quick hour just to see if i can push some warm leads up and get a few calls booked i've already booked one in uh, someone who didn't send the info last night just sent it now so that's a great start to the day sitting here desk got a little pure Actually, I'm really starting to like these. They're really good. Just because they they have like really few ingredients in and they, they're very refreshing. Like it's not sweet, sweet. It's like, it's almost like flavored sparkling water almost. I used to love them when I was about 14, 15, but for some reason I just stopped buying them. I don't know why. And then my mom bought some for me the other night and I kind of remembered, wow, these are really good. But yeah, it's natural flavors. So they say no colorants, no preservatives. So, yeah, and if you look in the ingredients, it's really, really minimal. So, not bad, not bad. Other than that, what I'm going to do is work for an hour. Then I'm going to go sit outside and read. And I also need to meditate still. So, I'll get the reading, the sun time, and the meditation done for today. So, that'll be good. And then I'll probably just have a bit of spare time because there's a few loose ends I need to just tie up with other things going on. And then I'll get back to work this afternoon. Okay, it's been a bit since I've recorded, but I've spent the afternoon at my desk slaving away <laughs> at the inbox. And I've booked two calls in so far, which is good. Obviously, because it's afternoon here, most of the leads, it's like early morning for them. so. I usually don't book as many calls in the afternoon. And then when I come on at night, that's when I book the most calls. So if I can get three more calls booked in tonight, then I'll have five calls booked tonight, which will be great. Other than that, I'm done for the afternoon. I am going to go to gym now, actually. I Obviously, with this new program I've chosen, it's a four-day split. It's not really a program. It's like a just a gym plan. But it's a, it's a four day split and there's a few different exercises I kind of want to trial out before I go properly on them just so I can get my form right before because they're exercises I haven't done before. Because with the four day split today I would be boxing usually, <clears throat> but I still need to get my membership sorted. In fact, I'm going to the boxing gym tomorrow to get that sorted out. But I'm going to make, the use, make use of some time I have because I can't not work out, I have to just so I can get my form correct on those exercises. And then I'll have a sauna afterwards and a shower, come back, eat dinner, reply to your comments and get back to work. Damn, it's getting cold already. Like it's starting to feel like winter. I always mark like halfway through March as the kind of seasonal change where it goes from uh, summer into more of like autumn winter transition. So I can feel it's starting to get a little bit cold, like I stepped outside, I'm obviously having to wear a hoodie now as well. But it's starting to change, but I love winter. Well, I like the first bit of it, and then in Cape Town, winter just goes on and on and on for like months and months, and then it gets annoying. But for the most part, I don't mind winter too much. It gives me a chance to wear jackets and stuff, so that's nice. Anyway, let's get to gym. And there we go, workout's done. I ended up doing a little bit of back just because it seemed like the, the right thing to try out. Um, other than that, I'm gonna go and get a smoothie now because I'm behind on my calories for the day, then go home and eat supper. You know the drill. All right, let's have a look at some of these comments from yesterday's video. Enjoy your video. Thank you. Hey, don't face the bangers and mash, okay? <laughs> <clears throat> Chest day at the gym. It's working. 
I don't know what you mean by that, but waiting for your info from prospects, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Absolutely. Yeah. You just have way of your shape, James. Keep going. I, I don't quite understand it, but I, I think I get the idea of what you're saying. Thank you. I'm from the US and I'm not offended in the least, but from historical perspective, the US is a newbie. Europe, Asia, the Middle East have far more to offer, but I suspect every little corner of the world has something to offer. Yeah, absolutely. Every country's got its its benefits and its not so benefits. Mm, have a look. For real on the protein shakes, they are just nasty and the only reason they're promoted is so people will make them. People who make them will make money. Also, thank you for the shout out. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Protein shakes are a load of garbage. People be like, oh yeah, this is so, protein powder is good for you. It's just protein, but they don't look at the ingredients in it. And <clears throat> obviously I'd love to preach about looking at the ingredients and stuff, but I'm not the best with it at the moment. Like sometimes I just want something fast, so I'll eat something crap. So just, just being honest there. Americans who are paying attention dislike the country more than you do, lol. <laughs> You're probably right. I don't know if you care to, but would you comment on the political situation in South Africa? It appears you live in a very nice and safe area of Cape Town, but have you had any issues with crime? I don't have the knowledge or the ability to articulate my thoughts on, on something like this just yet. I don't know enough about the political situation in South Africa. I choose not to listen to it. It just stresses me out, so I'm not going to talk about that. And in terms of crime, all I can really talk about is my own experience with crime here. And most of the time, it's completely fine. Obviously, if you go into certain areas, you've got to be careful, but it's like that in any place in the world. There's just certain areas where you've got to be a little more vigilant. And in terms of crime that's affected me, already a few incidents in grade nine, when I was about 15, me and my friend were walking I think this was on the first day of school holiday we went we decided to go walk in the green belt which is just like here in, in south africa green belt is just a place in the city where there's a lot of nature and stuff anyway so we decided to go walk there sorry cut out there uh what we were doing basically first day of holiday we, we decided to go for a walk and i was 15 so i wasn't really super aware like i am now of things i didn't have the experience but we decided to walk down and this guy came up to us and he basically just said, yeah, give me your phone. Because he could see, I was wearing tight pants, I was 15, I had no fashion sense. So you could see my phone clearly outlined in my pocket and he said, he walked up to me and he said, give me your phone. And I thought he was just some crackhead or something just asking for a phone like, you know, give me your phone so I can call someone. So naturally I said, no, sorry. Then he pulled out a knife and then he said, yeah, give me your fucking phone. And then I said, okay, okay, okay. And as I was trying to grab it out my pants, he pulled out a second knife, pressed them into my stomach a little bit. He didn't like stab me or anything, but yeah, he stole my phone. Long story short, he stole my phone. So that was, I think my main experience with crime. And obviously in nightclubs and things, you've got to be careful too. Last year I was in a nightclub in town and I think I was with a girl and some guy, I was obviously preoccupied and some guy just swiped the, the phone right out of my pocket and I had no idea until like an hour later I went to feel for my phone I was like oh it's not there but somehow I think that they, they, they said they had undercover security there and I think they saw the guy who took it they got my phone back and they messaged my mom because I had it I, I turned it on like emergency mode or something so it displays my mom's number and they basically messaged my mom and said hey we've got your phone so I got my phone back and that's good but no no, no serious crime where I stay you just got to keep your wits about you when you're in certain areas mm. here come the you're so hot comments <laughs> I get way too many of these and it's all dudes it's all dudes ah uh. Yeah, there we go. That's all the comments from yesterday's video. Now I'm gonna eat some dinner. I think we've got chicken and veg and stuff on the go, so it's gonna be delicious.
but I'll check in with you guys later. There we go, I got the third call booked in now. So yeah, and it's, it's only been 40 minutes into my second part of the shift, so I'm happy with that. I've got a few more people I just need to reply to, obviously call offerings and a bit of objection handling going on at the moment. Other than that, business as usual. I've been a bit disconnected from filming today just because I've been super busy with messaging and gym and stuff. And <clears throat> one thing I'm trialing out, I realized my screen time was up because I had YouTube on my phone. Just at, at, at the start, I was like, oh, I'll keep it on my phone so I can upload the videos. But I ended up watching videos and things on there. So I've deleted YouTube off of my phone. And instead, what I'm going to do now is film, obviously film all my videos on my phone and then airdrop it onto my laptop and then edit on iMovie there and then post on iMovie from my laptop. That way, watching YouTube is much harder than just having on my phone. So let's see how that works out. Okay, it is half past 10. I've got four calls booked today now, so really good. I am absolutely exhausted. I've been working really hard today. But yeah, I'm... I'm very tired and I need some sleep. I definitely need some sleep. At least the cold's going away though. I'm starting to sound somewhat normal. It's still kind of there, but yeah, I'm very, very tired and I've been working all day long. Fantastic day. Now I've gotten five calls booked. I'm done now. I need my sleep. So I'm gonna wrap up the video. You guys can go like and subscribe and comment and then go follow me on Instagram as well i gotta wake up at half past five tomorrow morning because recently i've been in a rush in the mornings and as a result i've missed meditating and then throughout the day if i just don't get it done in the morning i don't get it done at all so i've set an alarm for 5 30 and i need to do that i need to start waking up at that time and even though i don't have university tomorrow and i can wake up early I have to get started with it. I can't just push it back and go, that's fine. I'll wake up at 5.30 another time. So I need to get that done. So I'll probably only end up getting about five, six hours of sleep, but it is what it is. See you guys tomorrow.